Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. Since I started the channel, I've gotten a ton of questions about shaky heads and more specifically, the jig heads. Like what is the correct shaky head jig head to go with? It's one of those things that really can be kind of overwhelming. If you go into your local tackle shop and go over to the shaky head section, there are tons and tons of different hooks to choose from. But you, there's kind of three main categories, and if you break it down into three main categories, it'll make a lot of sense for you as to which is the one that you should choose for the conditions that you're fishing. Because if you choose the wrong shaky head, and you're going into weeds, or you're going into wood, or you're going into rock, you really might end up regretting the decision that you made, because not all shaky heads are made for the same type of structure. So if you know the differences, it'll really help you with your shaky head fishing and it'll improve the or increase the number of bites that you're getting and therefore your success on the water will go up. Before I break down these three types of shaky heads, I do want to remind you guys that I'm doing Fish the Moment Lake Breakdowns. A whole bunch of new ones have gone up on the Fish the Moment website recently. I specialize in uh, southern reservoirs for smallmouth only as well as pretty much the entire northern part of the country for largemouth and smallmouth. Uh, from California all the way to New York, I've got all kinds of lake breakdowns that are up. Uh, spring months are up, summer months are up, so check those out. The link is in the description or go to fishthemoment.com. Also guys, we're going to be having our first live stream here for members only uh, coming up at the end of the month. So make sure that if you want to join in on that and get some really good details and ask me some direct questions that you become a member if you go hit the join button on my homepage, if you're using your computer, you'll get more information there. Or go to the membership tab at my YouTube homepage on your uh, tablet or on your phone, and you can find out more information there. So make sure you become a member if you want to engage in those live streams. Okay, one of the questions that we get all the time has to do with shaky heads. And what is the right style to use? So what I've done is I break it down into three categories. I've got what I consider just the straight round ball. So that one is just basically a round ball head. It's a 90 degree uh, line tie on there. The next I would consider is what I consider more of a slither rig or more of a weedless style a shaky head. So in this case, you've got usually a 60 degree line tie to a 30 degree depending on the manufacturer. And you've got more of a streamlined head design. So this is the Dirty Jig Scott Canterbury shaky head. The first was the Luke Clausen Dirty Jigs uh, shaky head. So very two very different designs. And then the last one is your stand-up style. So this one is the uh, Dirty Jigs Horseshoe shaky head. So it's a stand-up style. So when you hit the bottom, it stands straight up just like that. That's the idea behind it. Now these three are not all made the same. As you can tell, they're very different styles based on uh, the hook line tie angle as well as the way that the head design is. And they're made to do different things. So we're going to talk about each one just a little bit and kind of tell you when I choose one versus the other. So we're going to talk about the round ball jig head here first. This is just a straight round ball jig head, nothing special to it, 90 degree line tie. This is a really good style jig head to use when you're shaky head fishing for basic, uh, normal rock bank, whether you're on a, a chunk rock bank or a 45 degree bank, a channel swing type thing where you've got some rock mixed in, the round ball head does a good job of staying out of the cracks in the rock and therefore limits the number of hangups that you have. The other, the other main time I like to choose a round ball head is if I'm tight lining. So a lot of times if I'm shaky head fishing around, say, deep docks or standing timber uh, or just fishing around schooling fish, a shaky head's a really good bait for that. You know, if you're tight lining, you're throwing out, you're engaging your reel, and you're letting your bait just pendulum down. And that this is the perfect head to be doing that for uh, if you're throwing a shaky head worm. So you grab, you know, a four or six inch Green pumpkin worm, thread it on here, you're good to go. You leave the exposed hook. Uh, it's a great bait for fishing 
deep floating docks or deep docks, it's really a good way to fish. But the jig head style is a really good one for using that tight lining or pendulum fishing method. So that's when I like to throw a round ball head. So if I'm fishing, like I said, if I'm fishing around rock uh, that is, you know, relatively at a 45 degree bank or I'm throwing around uh, just a clean bare bottom, it's a good one to use for that as well. Because generally you're going to be using this more as an exposed hook. Okay, so now if you go over to what Dirty Jigs calls the Scott Canterbury shaky head, which is what I consider more of your weedless head design or a slither rig design, you can see the line tie angle is not a 90 degree angle. Uh, this I believe is a 60 degree angle. And the key with this and the way the head design is, so that you can tell the, the eye on here is uh, perpendicular to the hook shank. The key here is this bait is made to come through cover. This bait is phenomenal for fishing around brush because it comes up and over the brush. So if you're fishing around brush piles or you're going down the bank throwing into bushes or throwing around uh, laydowns, you want a shaky head style that is much more like this. Now you're not going to get the same uh, stand up effect with it, but this isn't necessarily made to stand up it's made to come through the cover so if you're fishing a shaky head around cover you want to make sure you're going with something that's not a 90 degree line tie and has a much more streamlined head design here because it will come through cover so much better this one is great for fishing around uh, like i said weed wood grass brush uh, great for fishing around docks if you've got crossbars that type of thing because that perpendicular line tie will hit the hit the hit the log or hit the dock or the crossbar and it'll want the jig head to come up and over if you were throwing a parallel line tie it would hit and it would want to roll into one side and that's where you get stuck a lot of times in this case you can see it's got the the pigtail screw in so that's being used to keep a, a more of a texas rig or a weedless style presentation which again goes along with the fact that you're fishing this style head around cover the last style is your stand-up head. So in this case, this is what Dirty Jigs calls their horseshoe. It's just a straight stand-up jig head. It's meant to be rigged weedless again. You can see it's got the pigtail screw. These are excellent, excellent uh, shaky heads that are meant to be used more on clean bottoms and areas where you can actually get your bait to stand up. So what I mean by that is if I'm fishing a sharp 45 or 60 degree bank, you're very rarely going to get this bait to stand up. It's not going to happen. But for me, this style, a stand up style shaky head comes into play if I'm fishing ledges. So if I'm way offshore and I'm fishing where you've got a flat, you know, relatively flat uh, top on top of the ledge and then it drops off. Great bait for doing that. Uh, it's great for fishing uh, around any sort of clean bottom areas. So if you've got like a pea gravel point, it's great because you drag it and it's literally standing up on, on that flat, that flat bottom. I mean, it just does such a good job of getting that worm in a position where it becomes tantalizing. Uh, I also like throwing this anywhere that I'm fishing like ledge rock type stuff. So I may have stair steps, but there's real flat surfaces on those ledge rocks where sometimes you get fish that are spawning. Uh, or even on bluffs, you know, a lot of times with bluffs, you may have a, a straight vertical 15 foot drop, but then you'll have a little bit of a ledge that comes out before it drops another 15 feet. I actually like throwing the stand-ups in that situation because it'll fall parallel to the ledge and then it'll hit the, uh, hit the, that little stair step before it drops more and it'll stand up on those ledges. And that generally is where your fish are. So I do like a stand-up in that situation. You will get stuck more with a bigger head like this and some of those rock crevices versus your round ball style. But on a, on a specific bluff rock type bank, I do like it if I know that I've got that stair stepping going on. If it's just big bluff rock that's all broken, I would much rather go with the round ball head. But it does make a difference, guys, as to what you choose. Because if you wanted to throw this horseshoe style design in say weeds and grass, it's not coming through nearly as well. If you fish this around, you know, a lay down, it just does not come through nearly as well. You, you will get hung up quite a bit more, not necessarily hung up because of the hook point, but hung up because of the style head will wedge inside of those, you know, any sort of limbs that are crossing 
way better than the shaky heads that's meant to slither up and through all that stuff. So guys, make sure that you buy the right shaky head for the conditions that you're fishing. Uh, it really does matter. If you're fishing a grass lake, then you want to choose one that's made to come through the grass better and is weedless. You know, much more like this slither head design. If you're fishing a lake where you're on Kentucky Lake fishing ledges, I would recommend a horseshoe. And if you're fishing, you know, a lake like uh, Lake Lanier, where you're fishing a lot of docks or just clay points, that type of thing, then I would say you probably want to go with your round ball. So it does matter because if you buy the wrong one and put it and put it to use in the wrong situation, you will get hung up more. You will not get as many bites. You'll break off a bunch and it'll just cost you a lot of money. And there'll be a lot of frustration there, which may prevent you from throwing a shaky head in the future. And as we know, a shaky head is a phenomenal bait. It catches a pile of fish and it catches some big ones. So guys, I hope this was helpful for some of you. If it was, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and stay tuned for another video coming out tomorrow.